What's going on my beautiful beautiful people? Today we're doing part 15 of Wolfenstein the New Order. We've managed to get in the catacombs. Now we're gonna kill some Nazis. But first of all, I wanted to start with a new topic today. We're going to talk a little bit about evolution evolution of technology. We are speaking about computers, cars and gaming. I believe in the year 2014 we have come a long way from driving our car with the charge off the engine. We are talking about starting the computer in less than 10 seconds. Everything has formed and evolved with the people's choices. If people ask about a 50 megapixels camera, the business teams managers of firms will get the word out and phones and cameras will come out with 50 megapixels cameras okay I'm not a professional when talking about cars yet okay but I still know that the first car was a steam built car with three wheels that had the speed of let's see uh, let's say you're walking down a street that was about the speed of the car and so the cars evolve building the diesel engine first car with the fuel injection, the electrical car and nowadays the hybrid. Everyone loves technology and they have to adapt to it. We people have a way of adapting very quickly to technology because if we do not adapt to it then we are remaining in the old days and some things like writing to a friend can take up to three days, uh, delivering mail Okay, when right now you can send an email in seconds, just like that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about computers. I know I'm moving on through subjects very, very quickly, but it's a general topic, not a base topic. We're not speaking about a certain model or a certain model of car or a certain model of the computer. We're talking about history, general generalities. Okay, computers have been around a lot longer than many people might imagine. The word computer has changed meaning over decades, but the electronic computer that we think of in the modern days developed throughout the second half of the 20th, 20th century. We know that two names come out to our minds when we talk about computers. These names are Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Bill Gates, the inventor of Microsoft Windows, um, it was a monumental change in history the invention of Windows and now um, and now uh, we are grateful for him for those who have computers with Windows because we can run different application multitasking and so on the internet and so on and so on if uh, we're talking about Steve Jobs it's only fitting that a man who set out to build a better computer actually changed people and the way they think about computers in a world where intellectual and scientific achievement is increasingly marginalized Jobs broke the bounds of gravity it's safe to say he was let's say Thomas Edison of our time we all know Apple and the evolution of the company. They made watches, phones, computers, tablets, and so on. Apple is the most admired brand in the world right now, and the company's impact and influence is indisputable. Silver MacBook Pros, gleaming, and impossibly cool iPads are everywhere. Trendy iMacs adorn desktops while the iPhone has single-handedly transformed society and business. In the corporate world, information technology is no longer driven from the top down. Increasingly, employees decide which technologies and tools the organizations will use. But we have to remember one thing. We cannot do on a Windows computer what we can do on a Mac and vice versa. The compatibility with softwares on Mac computers have enlarged with Apple but are not quite there. But if we are speaking of games, 
if we try to play a game on a Mac, a Macintosh, it's a bit impossible as the graphics and the components won't allow the games to perform at high quality and perhaps won't allow them to perform at all. Speaking of software, when using a Mac, it's brilliant. It moves fast, it moves without glitches, it renders fast, and the the compliments go up, can go on and on and on. Now, let's talk a little bit about gaming consoles. If we are talking about video gaming consoles, we have about eight generations of console right now. We start with Magnavox Odyssey, which few know about. Then we're talking about Atari, a well-known console, NES, Nintendo. The first Sony PlayStation was born in 1994, guys. This was the beginning of a new era. Then came PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. We has arrived on the scene and so on. So, as you guys can see, technology changes a lot with time. My question for you, and I want you guys to leave it in the comment below. Can you adapt to the technology nowadays? When did you have your first computer or what was your first gaming console? Leave that in the comment below and if you enjoyed, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to my channel and to this video. Now, let's try to return a little bit to uh, Wolfenstein A New Order as I'm going through so many things and I'm trying to pay attention and talk to you guys at the same time let's concentrate a little bit on killing this goddamn Nazis okay let's see what's going on trying to uh, I hate these these dudes they're very hard to kill uh, it's very easy to kill with, uh, with the laser gun that we can, we use to cut through metal it has an option that where you can fire laser beams at them and they die very very easily like that come on yeah oh damn what the hell are you doing right here my armor a little bit okay a little bit of health come on get him get him good job good job Blazkowicz get my health back up we're trying to get her everything that's possible for us we're trying to max out everything my shooting at me oh boy you did headshot I believe that was a headshot come on hi oh double head double shotguns these weapons are the bomb check them out check them out look at that damage Look at that damage. Gather, gather. I'm a gatherer. I told you guys about that. Oh, you did. Look at him. Struggling and struggling. Someone's here. Where the fuck are you shooting? Come on. Give me my overcharge a little bit. Give me some armor. Where the hell? Oh, I see you. Uh, yeah, and the the double shotguns are also efficient when killing dudes like this. I'm gonna see right now. Which I'm gonna oh, die, bitch! You dead, boy? You dead? Stop moving! Someone's shooting at me. God damn it! Why would you mess with a person that has a double shotgun? Why would you do that? It's not logical. Getting all the things possible for me. Get my armor back up a little bit. Get some overcharge. Recharge my plasma weapon. My laser weapon. Okay. Let's see what I'm gonna do right now.
sorry guys, that was my mom at the door. A little bit. Back with the mic. What the fuck? You did, don't kill me, motherfucker. Dead. Blown your head off, bitch. Give me that plasma gun. Cut it. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Think here. Where am I supposed to go? Nope, not that way. I almost. Oh, here's it. Here it is. Okay, Roger. Cats in the bag. bag. Cats in the bag. Bags in the river. Keep the channel open, Blaskowitz. Roger that. Tracking your signal. We're going on the water searching for the mermaid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Dead bodies everywhere. Damn, that's sick. I don't like it. I don't like it. At all. So let me know if you like the topic guys, leave that in the comment. If you like me to talk about more evolution stuff or do you, if you want me to talk about a particular uh, device, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to do a review for you. Like, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna do a face cam and present the object and so on, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. In a video of mine, like I'm, like I just did at the beginning of the video. Just let me know if you like me to do something like that. I'll do it with pleasure. Just need a specific name of the device. Damn, what the hell is this? Ooh, damn, technology. See, this is what I'm talking about. A little bit of technology. So creepy. I tell you, I have waited for this moment. Well, get out of my way, Seth. Get out of my way, Seth. I want to get past through. Get out of my way, Seth. Thank you. Go, 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 go. And we're strolling, 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 strolling. Everything is locked. Locked and locked. That's just great. Guys, you're moving way too slow for me. I can do circles around you. And you still won't get there. Ooh, damn, you've arrived. Blah, 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 Warning, warning. This we used to get to the main hall. I don't recognize these symbols. Oh, let me. What? 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 <laughs> you should go next, there, Blaskowitz. I'll Ooh. go to the rear. Damn, that's nice graphic. Nice graphic. The water's going down. I can pull my suit off. That's great. That's great, guys. Looks awesome. My phone is vibrating. Let's see what's going on. Huh? Jesus Christ! 
What the hell is this thing? This is the secret vault out there. Now, first, we need to activate magnetic fields and create an entryway. Uh, this machine here, it controls the electromagnetic fields. Yes. Uh, okay, are you ready, Ingele? One, two, three, go! Snap! But this is my old technology. What the hell are talking about here? So we're supposed to shoot these things. There. This is the secret prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. Okay. You should be able to charge magnetic, magnetic coils. coils. I got it. See them? Got it, dude. I'm not dumb. Go. Lower the elevation platform. Got it. This is a Gotta change it. This part's for home. Damn. That's efficient. Okay, that seems to work, but I need to get up there. Come on, god damn it. One, two. Oh, fuck. This is getting very stressful. Try one more, then I'm gonna cut a little bit of the part. Okay, as I told you. Waiting for my laser beam to charge. I had to cut a little bit, guys. Sorry about that, but I've struggled a little bit getting up here. Get that platform down, Blaskowitz. Got it! Enter the secret vault. Yeah, it took me about a half an hour to get up there. No hesitations. No hesitations. Now we ascend to the sky. Take us up, Shimshon. Right, press that button. Everything here is about pressing buttons. I don't want to get smashed. No, not smashed. That's good. Oh, damn! You speak their languages. Dati shoot chamber. No, Yingle. The shiny thing. Go ahead, Press this one. Anything that is useful to you, you may take. Just give me that robot. Yep. Give me that golden thingy. Press that as well. This looks fun. Aren't you guys enjoying this? Cause I am. God damn it. That's a coil. Ooh, gold chamber pot. Okay, let's go over here and put that ball that we found. Come in. Come in. Hey, what you got, Caroline? We have a lead on those decryption keys for the nuclear cannon. Anya, it's a troop transport train recalled from the African front. On board is the chief research scientist for Death's Head's latest generation super soldat program. He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new super soldat. 
The intercepts a troop transport train, locates a chief research scientist, steal his identity and use it to permit Blasco to Listen carefully, guys. Shuttle. Once you're at the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the part right here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. What do you want me to talk about and on my next video? Till then, peace out nation, take it easy and keep on gaming. I know what you're thinking, Blasco. No chance. I'm keeping this thing. You give that to Caroline. Let's <laughs> go.